All right, so some people may remember uh, earlier last year I bought this Vegas Movie Studio 16. And um, I was very happy with it for a while. But back in November, the video soft, the editing software, went through a major update and it. Long story short, it no longer works. So, um, over so a hundred over a hundred bucks, and all wasted. So I decided to go with a different editing system, editing software. Yep. I read up on this. This only got three stars on Amazon, but I figured I'd give it a try. I mean, it was only 50 bucks at Best Buy, so if this doesn't work, I'm only out 50 bucks. But here's the main difference. The camera that I'm shooting this with, the Sony Handycam, it shoots in MTS format. You would think that Vegas would support MTS. Nope. It doesn't even support MP4. So, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah, this, on the other hand, this supports, this is one of the first formats it lists, MTS. Now, it doesn't do, now, it doesn't support MP4, but I can easily convert any video that's MP4. I can, oh, yeah, audio, but... If I have an MP4 video clip, I may have to convert it, which would be no problem. So, and does the WMV and MPEG and all that. So, we're going to install this. We'll see how it works. Alright, so after a few hours, it's finally installed. There were some extra programs that were installed with it that I really don't need so I'm gonna get rid of them I already am for those of you that said oh you didn't uninstall it well guess again I did uninstall it but it just didn't delete it from the computer alright so what we're gonna do yeah the the only complaint I have is it installed a bunch of extra programs that I'm gonna need to try out and I'm probably going to end up uninstalling some of it, like this multicam capture light. I don't even know what the hell it is. But we're going to go ahead and open Corel Video Studio 2019 and see what this is all about. No close. First time I started this up, it did take a while. And it'll probably take a little bit right now but oh no bada bing there it goes all right so um uh, this this part here i've seen before the rest were going in uh for the first time seeing it together so i've never used this before this little bit up here it sort of reminds me of pinnacle but here we go with, uh, well, let's go to edit. Okay, so this sort of looks like how Pinnacle did, except the video screen was over there, and the effects were over there. So this is pretty cool. Uh, let's go to capture. Let's see here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me open videos here. Let's go to Sony. All right, so we'll let. 
All right, so I can't drag and drop here. Let's see. Insert video. Let's see here. Could this be how? Okay. Awesome. Sweet. All right. So, oh, I did not need that. Nope. Import from digital media, maybe? No. Oh, maybe. Nope. Okay. All right. So, there we go. All right. So, I'm going to have some fun with this. I'm going to play around with it some. See what happens, and we will see you later. Okay, so... I ran into a small problem, big surprise. Whenever I would put the file into um, Video Studio, I would be able to see the video, but I wouldn't have any sound. And I checked the user's guide. There was nothing. So I contacted support via phone. And I was put on hold for like five minutes. And the woman then came back on after I asked what, after I explained the problem, she said, all right, please hold while well, something or other, I couldn't understand her. And she then came back and I was then able to hear everything she was telling her boss and the other speaking going on in the background. Finally, went silent for a few minutes and then she came back on and said, all right, I took down your number. There'll be someone calling you to and blah, 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 blah. Really? So... I'm like, screw this. I went online and I chatted with someone, with a member of the support, and got a much better and faster response. In, apparently, you can't use MTS in Video Studio. You have to use MP4. So if your if your camera shoots in MTS mode, uh, you'll have to convert the video to MP4. Now the card that is in this camera, the SD card, it not only shoots to MTS but also shoots to MP4. So I was saved that way. But there were some files that I needed to convert. So, but suffice it to say, the video exported successfully I exported it to WMV I looked I checked it everything looks great so I believe I found the salute I found my new editing software and by the way the sharing part where you actually export the project it looks similar to power director which is pretty interesting so, anywho, that'll do it for this video. Uh, if you are a user of Power of Video Studio, let me know down in the comments and tell me what you think about it. This thing got three star review on Amazon. So I'm curious to see what you think about it. All right, and if you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.